John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. It's been a while since my last episode and this is because the camera that I use to film these episodes, well I had a problem with the uh, LCD in the back, it stopped working and as a result I needed to uh, send the camera into Olympus for warranty work and I just got it back just yesterday really so it's good to have it back it's all running again they completely fixed it pretty good service pretty very very quick and they fixed the LCD lens they cleaned it up they updated it with the latest BIOS and everything so it's almost like I got a brand new camera now so back to the driving episode and like I said I do miss it because I was wondering man I haven't done one in a while I better maybe I should just use my iPhone or something and you know, hold out my hand and talk like this but I figure that will probably be too dangerous <laughs> anyway Last week, I was at the uh, Home Business Summit in San Diego. And for those who don't know, that's a uh, twice a year summit that takes place. Well, the last one was in Long Beach. This one was in, this one was in San Diego. And it brings together, you know, the top internet marketers in our business. And for three days of networking and teaching, learning, and basically just having fun. Just having fun. Also at the summit, I was uh, presented with a, a check for over $400,000. And that check represents how much money I made for Mo in the past 13 months, well, since I joined. I, I joined back in September of 2012. And it's 13 months later, $400,000. Now, a little separate about that check. That check represents how much I've been paid. Not actually how much I made in Mo. It makes sure how much I've been paid, you see? What you make and what you get paid are not necessarily the same thing because so, there are some people who take payment plans on the products that, that they buy. Most of us have product ranging from free to $15,000. So, you know, not, not everyone got 15,000 bucks, you know, just tossing in their jeans. So, some of them take a payment plan. But as a result of that, my income, my income is actually higher than that what that check represents because of people taking payment plans. But that check only represents how much I've been paid. And I suppose, you know, as an accountant, because that's my background, I came from an accounting background, that really doesn't follow generally accepted accounting principle. I mean, that states that you recognize a sale at the time you make it and not when you actually receive the cash. Uh, for example, you know, when someone goes to buy a car on a, and they take a loan, they take a, they take a loan for it, you know, the car, the car dealership, assuming the car dealership financed the car for them, you know, let's say this Mercedes, this is a $135 car. Let's just say you go in there and you, and then you borrow the money, you borrow the, uh, the dealer arranges financing. When the dealer, you know, on their books, they show they made $120,000, $130,000. Even though the first month, they're only going to get paid like, I guess like $3,000, $4,000 in payments, depending on, you know, the payment plan. So they got, they sold, a, they sold a $125 car, $135 car, but they only got like three, four, maybe $5,000 in cash payment for the first month. And then it continues until, you know, the life for the payment. Well, Mo, that check is the same thing. That check represents how much cash, actual money I got from the business and not how much I actually I sold, because I sold a lot more than $400,000 of stuff. It's just that some of people, some of them want a payment plan and that's the way they did it. So I just, I just want to clear that up. It's uh, the four hundred thousand dollars in thirteen months is not my income with Mo. It's how much I've been paid with Mo and my top tier business. Right. The other thing I also want, I also want three gold coins, which is kind of cool. I mean, those gold, those coins are worth about well, thirteen fifty each. So I got three of them. You know, that's good enough for take everyone out for dinner and have a good time. You know, blow out dinner, blow out lunch, something like that. So the the main thing I got from meeting all the uh, attendees at the event is in order to succeed in this business or any business, in order to succeed, you got to have a burning desire to want to succeed. And you also got to be willing to invest in yourself. And that's a, that's a big thing for a lot of people. Many people are not willing to invest in themselves. Invest in themselves, but what I mean by that, I mean that basically education, investing in yourself, you know. 
investing, just being willing to put the money on you. You know, I, I get all the time, I get some people like, oh, yeah, why don't, if, you know, if this business makes so much money, 135000 whatever, 400000 bucks in a year and about a month, tell you what, you know, why don't you give it to me for free and then I, and then once I make the money, I'll pay you back. I get that a lot. I, I do. I do. I'm, I'm, and if you've been in the business anytime you have any sort of success, you're going to get the same thing. People are going to be asking you for basically handouts. Handouts. Basically, that's what they ask you. Now, my answer to that question has always been the same. I mean, I just I tell them this. You know, my top tier business, which I made 400000 plus in 13 months, cost $49 for an application fee. The actual teaching inside the system is free. It's actually free, it doesn't cost anything. The actual training and teaching is free. And I got people who, you know, who basically don't even want to pay the opportunity. They want everything for free and they want me to fund them. And so my answer is always this. If you're not willing to invest $49 into you, there's no way I'm investing anything in you. No way, absolutely zero. Right? So it's not up to me to make you successful. It's up to you to make you successful. Right? And I cannot force success on people. And you know, the truth of the matter is I have sponsored or paid some people to you know, get into programs and stuff, to help them out, whatever, because you know, I thought of maybe a good experiment or whatever. Every single one of those cases has never been successful. Not a one. When you give someone a fish, you don't actually feed them for a day. You give someone a fish that they want, they want the caviar to go with it. The only people that have ever been successful are the people who actually invest in themselves, pay the money, fund it themselves, go through the full struggle to actually make it work. When you get handed everything on a silver platter, that's like winning a lottery. And we know what happens to lottery winners. They, they go broke, you know? They go broke. So, within a few years, they're back to where they started from. So, so don't be afraid to invest in yourself, right? If you can't invest in yourself, then it isn't gonna work. And basically, you need, also need a burning desire. You gotta, this is not a tiptoe, I get my feet wet, you know. This is a real business I'm in. This is a real, this is what I do. This is a real business. I have real business expenses, you know. I get a, a lot of people say that, oh yeah, it's $49 all I have to put up to make the money. Do I have to invest anything else? I mean, come on, seriously? That's like, when you're starting a business, do you just put up the capital to start the business and then just money magically rolls in? This is not a magic bullet. It's not like, I put up the money, now give me my 10, 20, 30, whatever. No, it doesn't work that way. And a lot of it has to do with just your mindset. Hey, because internet marketing is relatively inexpensive to start compared to a typical business, too many people go into this with the mentality that, oh yeah, I just gotta put up a domain name, put up a blog and I'll be rich. I'll set up a landing page and then I'll be rich. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. You had to go into an attitude that this is a real business and I can treat it like a real business. And guess what? Real business have costs. They don't run for free. Like my site alone, a lot of people think my site is free because they always see the blog. But the truth, of, the truth of the matter is, my hosting costs almost a thousand bucks a month because my site gets that much traffic. It doesn't, you can't run it on a four dollar a month server. My email list has over a hundred thousand names. It costs over a thousand bucks a month to maintain that email list. And then there's, I have a men, I have a coders, I have content writers. You know, my business, and then I have advertising. I have a monthly, I have an advertising budget. You know, it costs about five thousand dollars a month to run JohnChow.com. Now, compare that to a regular business. That's actually quite cheap. I mean, how many multi? 
Well, how many million dollar business do you know that can be run on five grand a month? I only know one. But yeah, because we're on the internet, a lot of people assume that, oh my God, it costs you five grand a month to run this? Look at why it's so expensive. Because people expect everything on the internet for free for whatever reason, but it's a real business. So, when people ask me, you know, is $49 all I have to do to invest in MTV to make the money? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, look, I, I know right there, the attitude is totally incorrect. The mindset is totally wrong. And until you have the mindset of a successful person, a business person, it's really, really tough for you to succeed. Even if success was thrust upon you, even if I give you all the tools, even if I create the landing pages, I create the sales funnel, I create everything for you, chances are you will fail. Because your mindset is totally incorrect. Your mind is wrong. your attitude sucks. Your attitude is wrong. Right? So if you get anything out of my little rant right now, it would have to be get your attitude adjusted properly, and then the rest will all fall into place, all right? It's because success is attitude. Success is not a sales funnel or a landing page. Success is an attitude. It's what's in here and how you see things, how you perceive things. That is a true measure of success. You know, you can look at something as negative or you can look at something as an opportunity. See everything as an opportunity, all right? This episode of Driving with John Chow is sponsored by AppleNewbies.com. Uh, you may recall a while back I asked people if they want uh, some plug, send me the t-shirt and I will wear the shirt while I'm driving. And Apple Newbie is the first one to tick me up on that offer. So they sent me this nice uh, black and red and silver t-shirt with the company on it. So. Go check them out, AppleNewbie.com. You know, they're obviously for Apple site. They're actually quite a cool site. And speaking of Apple, you know, I recently bought a, a new blogging notebook. I bought a brand new 15-inch Retina MacBook Pro. Top of the line, uh, quad-core processor, 16 gigs of RAM, latest video card, 512 gigs, solid-state hard drive. The, this thing is so fast. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's faster than my home iMac. So uh, I've been using that a lot. I'm thinking of getting some external monitors for it because it can power two external monitors. So I think I'm getting two 27-inch uh, similar displays and then plug it into the Thunderbolt and I could run two 27-inch all powered by the MacBook. It should be pretty cool. I, I like it a lot. So, and it's 2600 bucks. Well worth the money. You know, a lot of people say that it's so expensive. And I said, again, mindset. Yeah, mindset. I mean, 2600 bucks, expensive. It depends. Depends how you look at it. All right? To me, I don't look at it as an, as, a, as an expense. That MacBook make me over a million bucks a year. So, 2600 bucks make a million bucks a year? To me, no problem at all. So, thank you for watching. Uh, do subscribe to my channel. Uh, like me, thumbs up, all the other good stuff that other YouTube people say to you know, get more subscribers. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Driving with John Chow.